Richard Goodall, a middle school janitor from Indiana, was on America's Got Talent, and he won the million dollar prize. So how much money will Richard actually get after tax? That is the subject to this video. I really love this story. You know, you have the singing janitor from Indiana that makes it onto America's Got Talent. America falls in love with him and he ends up winning the whole thing. So I'm really happy for him. But how much money of the, you know, the million dollar prize money does he actually get? And I'm going to get to that. But just a little backstory. So he's been a janitor in this middle school for many years. He lives only, like he says, like a few blocks away. So it's, he's very close to the school. And he was known as the singing janitor. His wife of many years got cancer and passed away a few years ago. And so he started this process um, single, but actually just recently got remarried. And so that will give him a little bit more of a tax advantage because he'll get a, the standard deduction if he files um, jointly versus filing single. He sang a journey song, right? A couple of journey songs on the show. Journey is an 80s band, Steve Perry's lead singer, very popular, and actually one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, I love the voice of Steve Perry, and Richard sounds a lot like Steve Perry. But so let's look at the tax implications. So America's Got Talent advertises that the prize is a million dollars. But in reality, um, he's not going to get a million dollars. They don't really pay it out as a lump sum. So let, let's just assume that he did get a million dollar lump sum, and let's just look at what the tax implications would be, okay? So if he's married filing jointly, um, and I'm ass we're, we're assuming his other income from his janitor job, it looks like in Indiana, the typical wage for a, a middle school janitor is around $16 an hour or uh, probably around $30,000 per year, okay? So, and I don't know if his new wife has some income, which would bump, bump up the income. But just assuming there's $30,000 there plus a million dollars of prize money, his federal income tax, and it's going to push him up into the 37% tax bracket, the very top bracket as of this year. And his federal tax would be just under $300,000. And then the state of Indiana is going to take $32,445. And then the FICA taxes, which goes into uh, contribute or pay into Social Security and for Medicare, would be $2,295. So total tax obligation for 2024 is going to be in the ballpark of, assuming there's no other deductions, $334,653. So if his total annual income was $1,030,000, his net take-home would be $695,347. So taxes are, are a beast. You know, they take a pretty significant chunk when you get paid all that in one year. Now, again, while America's Got Talent advertises that the prize is a million dollars, they don't pay out a million dollar lump sum. It's not an option. You can take a lump sum, or he could, um, but if he did, they're only going to pay out around three hundred to three hundred fifty thousand dollars as a lump sum option. Um, significantly less, right? And you might say, well how how can they do that? It's because the million dollars is paid out as an annuity. So in order to get the full million it's going to be spread out over 40 years, four decades. That would be a, a, an annual payment of about $25,000 per year for 40 years. So it's, it's not a bad deal. Um, his income is essentially almost doubled, and it's going to be a, a significant boost for him, for sure. And when you spread the payments out like that over time, he will he will pay less in taxes because his tax brackets will, you know, he'll be in the lower tax brackets. And so, anyway, in case you wondered, that's what it's going to look like for him. But I'm really happy for him. He's got a lot of publicity. He'll probably have other ways to generate additional money now because he's somewhat of a celebrity, right? And I'm sure there, there are places that will hire him to sing and perform. 
And so he's going to do quite well. But I'm very happy for him. Congratulate him and his, and I hope that they invest their money wisely. And I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode of the Financial Pass Lane.